In this video I'll be explaining how we can set up user security to restrict access to the various systems in Site Setup. My current account, which is test, has access to all the systems at the moment. And I'm just going to launch the program query so we can see what systems the account has access to. So the account that I've logged in as is test. And if I go to products, you can see that I get a full list of all the products. System being the system database, AdventureWorks, which is used for demonstration purposes, and a financial system and a, a payroll system called PayGlobal. What I'd like to do is change this account so that I only have access to the payroll system and none of the other systems. Let's do that by going into Site Setup. To change the permissions on the user account, I'll need administration rights or I'll need to log in with an account that does have administration rights. And under Users, you can see that I've got a list of all the users, including the test user which I showed you previously. If I open that up you can see the various products that, that have settings that I can change. At the top level you can see that the user is associated with the user group and currently it's associated with the default group. Let's change this so that the user test is associated with group 1. So I have a choice. I can set permissions to the various products at a group level or at the user level. Let's go down to the groups and open up group 1 and you can see that if I click on the products there's a property called access granted. If I set this to false, any users that belong to the group will be denied access to that particular product. I'm going to set these all to false, except for the payroll system, which I'll leave as true. If I go back to the, the user test and click on the particular products, you can see that its security mode is based on the user group, and it's picked up that they've all been set to false. Let's test this now by logging back into the program query and see what happens when we try to select one of the products that we no longer have access to. You can see here that we've got access denied to AdventureWorks and if I call up the full list of products you can see that they're now greyed out and I only have access to pay global. If I was to load up a report that had been created by another account that did have access to these systems, I would still see the products but none of the data would be extracted. Next I'll show you how you can use both group security and user level security mixed. So we'll go back into site setup and for the user test which belongs to group 1, I'm now going to override the group logic for a particular product. So for AdventureWorks, instead of inheriting the group attributes just for this particular product, I'd like to specify it at the user level and say that they have access to AdventureWorks. So now if I go back into query, I'll have access to AdventureWorks and Payroll. See that AdventureWorks and Payroll are now enabled. This concludes a brief overview of setting permissions and security in Site Setup.